this is Vinayak Mathur from VM Graphic Solutions and in this video I'll be showing you how to create custom attributes in Autodesk 3ds Max and uh, so let's get started I have this project open in which uh, I had created a box which had a lid which opens till 180 degrees and is limited using float limit controllers and if you haven't seen the tutorial there's one in my channel of how to do this so today I'll create a slider of which will help me to rotate this without using the rotate gizmo so what is the function of that uh, custom attribute is that I can control anything and everything in the whole scene with just centralized modifier panel so it is helpful if we have multiple objects and rather than selecting each one and then changing them we can just select one major group and change it from the modifiers panel so let's get started and how to create a custom attribute so it's click on the lid which has to be opened go to animation click parameter editor or the shortcut is alt plus one or option on mac you get this parameter editor so meanwhile after this opens go to the modifier list add attribute holder and come back to the parameter editor click on the add to type dropbox menu and select current modifier and then only few things have to be changed or have to be dealt with is first parameter type which is float for default which includes all the numeral values from 0 to infinite including decimal values UI type, UI type is spinner or slider you can change uh, them and see the difference in the testing attribute if you get plus and well, up and arrow up and down arrow you mean it is a spinner if I go to slider it's a slider like this so let's make one with the slider I'll rename this to rotate lid and as in shown in the earlier video I have this rotation set from 0 to turn to 180 so I have to make a slider which starts from 0 and ends at 180 so let's come to the range here click 180 over here default let it be to 0 and click add and you'll see a rotate lid has been added in the modifier panel now we have to link it so let's minimize the parameter editor and now click anywhere in the scene right click wire parameters transform object sorry modified object attribute holder custom attributes and click on the rotate lid and you get this dotted lines now click the lid then transform rotation x rotation limited controller float and I'll create a two way connection or you can just go with control direction or let's go with control direction and click connect so now if I go from 0 to 180 this is what is happening now why is this means I'm going from open lid to close lid right this is the zero position and coming to 180 in, as per the clockwise direction so that's how you add a custom attribute in place of a slider we could also add a we could also add a spinner which would have created something like this so that's how you create a parameter editor so all you have to do is let's do a recap of what all I have done on this is select the object which you want to be uh, affected 
go to animation click parameter editor or alt plus one or option on mac select current modifier meanwhile go to the modifier list and check or apply attribute holder come back to parameter editor select the parameter type load for the most cases is perfect then come down to ui type select if you want a spinner like the up and down key arrows or a slider which is something like this rename the control choose the range from where to where the slider should move and select default value and click add after clicking add you'll see there's a custom attribute shown over here now suppose if I had to edit this after I have created this you see if if I come back the name has changed that is it's now ready for creating another attribute so what do I have to do is come to edit or delete select my rotate lid which I had created and now I can do changes over here because now it is using rotate lid settings and now I can change these settings after I change these settings I'll again come back to apply changes and then close this over here or cancel and that's how you do it if you like this video hit the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button and subscribe to my channel for more videos directly sent to your mailbox or subscription list thank you